Vegas. Uh, we're doing a BB gun run. Um, today we're back in Good Springs, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna do, um... They went away that away. So, uh, we're gonna start with, uh... Heading into the bar and talking to Sonny to do some of the starting quests back in the town now that we have some BBs. Yep, so, uh, well, that'll work. Um, yeah, we got about 800 BBs, I think, but that's not. There is a way we can get a lot more ba BBs, but. Babies. BBs. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 we have to, uh... Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Become liked with the NCR. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Will do, Sonny. Sonny's one of my favorite characters in any Fallout game because she's, like, one of the only nice people. And I mean truly, like, nice. Well, while we're in here, we should be stealing some stuff. There's a uh, fix some things over here. Uh, if we come into this back room, there is a Salesman Weekly and a Meeting People and some Sunset Sarsaparilla, which we're going to take all of that. Um, there's a locked terminal, but you guys know how great I am at hacking, so yeah, I'm not even going to try. I'll take this floor safe. Oh, pre-war books. Pre-war books were so important in Fallout 3, and then they just became... Nobody cared. Wait, there's a door somewhere over here? Oh, it's right there, I guess. Like, weird. All right. So there's this dude right here. Um, he wa he's basically watching the till while Trudy's not here so that you don't steal, but you can get to a place where he can't see you because, you know, that light's too bright or something. Oh. <sighs> Give me the vodka. The vodka's the expensive stuff. Take that whiskey, too. Oh no, somebody came in. Why are you detecting me? Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. Alright, so you just. If you have problems with this guy looking at you, you can just pick up this big old barrel. You just set it. Oh, nope, come back here. Set it down right there. <laughs> and uh, he can't see you through it, so. You just steal everything right off the counter here. I'm going to leave that beer, because it's beer. Nobody cares. Uh, take that 357 in class. Yeah, that's weird that somebody put this barrel here, and then you couldn't see all the stuff disappear. I'm going to leave now. Uh, we'll head uh, get back out into Good Springs and talk to Sunny. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. I, I don't use... Uh, real gun, Sonny. Am I over capacity? Yes, yes I am. Um, what can I drop? Uh, oh, I'm, oh, I'm like, why do I have scrap? Oh, I have all this NCR stuff. I could drop this somewhere. Right, give me this. Looks like we're shaking real bad. I don't know why. Uh, like, That's the, right idea. the fact that I can't hit is just me, but... Try crouching down and... There we go. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Nope. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay, I'm in. Alright, uh, what am I thinking? Alright, right, I got a bunch of stuff I don't need. Um... Because we have both the bandolier armor and the trooper armor. The bandolier armor weighs slightly less than the trooper armor, so we're going to prepare those two together. Oh no, it's not weighs less, it had less DT, 
which is sad because I like the Troop Roamer better, but no big deal. Um, should put on some more important stuff. Uh, Trooper Hummer, what's going on? And I got my reading voice gone. Okay, onwards for great justice. Uh, while well, I'm thinking about it, yeah, we have Hunter. So it's a very big deal that we try to not be seen by the geckos, because uh, Hunter's going to help us with quite a bit of damage. Problem with that is that the BB gun, well, an amazing... Okay, I was going to say amazing silenced weapon, and then I just stopped myself. While the BB gun is a silenced weapon, it's got lousy spread, like, really bad. And if I remember right, yeah, we took Fast Shot and Built to Destroy, which means it's just as bad. Or it's even worse to hit things. Huh, just never noticed that tremble before. I wonder if that's because of Fast Shot or just a graphical thing. Weird. Sunny's, Sunny's gonna go set up there and we could keep the quest going, but because Sunny's here, she should spawn the geckos in. Yep, there they are. So we're gonna try to get some shots in before they see us. There. Come here, gecko. Nope, didn't hit him at all. Still caution, that's not the worst. Come on. Oh, I hit him. I had him once. Sorry, buddy. Nice. Purple head. Yeah, they go down. Alright. Give me your gecko, gecko, gecko. Come here. I was gonna say, give me your meat, and then decided against it. Yeah, there's the other gecko. That was a that was a bucket. I don't know why I thought it was a gecko. And then here's the other gecko. Um, and there we go. And then there's the gecko down. We'll go talk to Sunny. Sunny. See, you're getting the hang of it. Kinda. There's two more wells that still need clearing. If you want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure, I'll come with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. All right. So, ignoring Sunny, you want to immediately start running this way. R running, being a you know, moving as fast as you can. Put your gun away because you actually move faster. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get up here and you're gonna drop into a crouch as fast as possible, and then. Nice. All right. Now, no matter what you do, ignore Sunny, where she's going, and run over here and jump off the edge. Because you've got to save... There's a woman down here being attacked by geckos, and we got to save her before... Uh, before... She dies. Did I miss all those shots? Possible I did. I'm trying, lady! Yep, she died. Uh, nope, we gotta save her before she dies. So we'll go back and try that again. Next time I'm gonna jump down there and get him real close. Uh. And that's what happens when we actually manage to hit him. Right, we'll leave Sunny to fight these guys. She should do just fine. Sunny, where'd your gun go? Stop fighting him with your bare fist. We gotta go save the other lady. Ugh. So this time we'll crouch to get our sneak attack in. Nice. And that's what happens when we actually get sneak attacks in. Sunny die? Okay, Sunny didn't die. Now we just pop down here and talk to this lady. Hey! Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you done. I'd be a goner for sure. You look real sad. I came up here to draw water, 
But here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Thanks. Don't actually care about the water. What we care about is the Good Springs fame because she, uh, we saved her. That's the only way you can get idolized with Good Springs. And what happened to your gun, Sonny? Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. Thanks. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sounds good. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Okay. But it's what happened to your gun? Did I accidentally steal all her ammunition when she ran past me? I might have. All right, so we're gonna save here real quick. Get up behind Sunny. We're going to give her all our money, all our ammo, and then we're going to back out. Now she should be able to use her gun from now on, because she should have a varmint rifle now. Hey, what's her... Yeah, it's in okay condition. So she tells you to go up to the uh, schoolhouse, and yeah, no, don't even bother, because we'll just walk over here. Move quietly, because I just saw hey, that dude. Come on, hold still, hold still. Nice, good hit. And he drops. Alright. Easy enough, though. <laughs> our condition on our PB gun goes down so fast. Alright, yeah, so instead of going up to the schoolhouse or, uh, what's the other place she said? The graveyard? Just walk up here. There's, uh, one Xander right here. Oop. And right over this ridge, there's a Brock flower and another uh, gecko. Is that the gecko? I think it's the gecko. Nope. That wasn't the gecko at all. Yeah, that's what happens when we don't get crits. That's not good. Got an egg, though. Eggs are nice. So we're going to head over here and pick up this Brock flower and go back and talk to Sunny. Sunny, I brought your stuff. Make me a sandwich. No, that was, that, that was a joke. That was a joke. Alright, uh... Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. Alright now, we're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. And yeah, you just walk over to the campfire and you can make healing powder with uh, no survival. And then you can make gecko steak if you have survival of 30, which we do. So we make a bunch of gecko steaks. Talk to Sunny That's again. Bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop workbench or reloading bench whatever well i hope that's enough to get you started i'm heading back now hope i didn't miss anything good on the jukebox cheyenne would never forgive me hey do me a favor trudy she's the bartender up at the prospector kind of the town mom she likes to meet newcomers she'd be cross with me if i didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi where is cheyenne cheyenne's the dog all right, um, so we're going to head back to Good Springs. We'll just fast travel. Walk into the Prospector Saloon where Trudy's getting in a fight with, uh... Joe Cobb. Done here, nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Bye, Joe. Oh, man, somebody just really messed up your bar. Let me take this uh, barrel over here and just, you know, drop it right there. Yeah, that's good. Where'd you go, Trudy? Trudy. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. 
Uh, I overheard your argument. What's that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the Powder Gangers with him. Powder Gangers? Chang Gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. No, really. They escaped not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Uh, never mind. I want to talk about something else. All right. Uh, what happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. What happens? So if I help Ringo and the Good Springs will like me more, what if I help the Powder Gangers? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Uh, who's that man you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder Gangers is what they call themselves. Uh... I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Where did, did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Especially with a BB gun. Avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15. He'd have to go east, take Highway 93 up. Uh, want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Uh, I don't have any questions. Oh, show me what you got for sale. Got a special discount for you after what you've done for us. That's nice. Um, you can take this revolver and this varmint rifle. And, I should, oh crap, I need to be wearing my roving trader stuff. Never mind. Uh, bye. So we're going to go ahead and put on our barter gear to get better prices. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Show me what you got for sale. Um, take those two. And then, uh, nope, hang, hang on to that. Hang on to that leather armor and the powder ganger armor outfit. For costume reasons. Well, not costume reasons. Disguise reasons. Here, have these gecko hides. And this got away. In these cases. Yeah, that's good. Another satisfied customer. Bye. And if we just head over here, we should be able to get this radio working. With a repair of 20 or greater, which we don't have. Never mind. Um, so at this point, we could go talk to Cobb or Ringo about... Uh, We could go talk to Cobb or Ringo about the uh, rest of uh, Run Good Speedings Run or the other quest, uh, Ghost Town Gunfight. I don't want to do that yet, because if you kill the Powder Gangers, uh, they get mad at you, and there's more Powder Gangers out there. If you kill Ringo, Good Springs gets mad at you, and Good Springs is a nice place to 
sell stuff. I mean, if you have to get one mat at you, it's probably better to get the good spring mat at you than the uh, the powder gangers, but you can also just avoid that quest right now. Because if you've noticed, uh, the condition on our gun has gone from 100% to uh, not very high right now. Uh, I don't know if it actually tells me what my condition is like in a number but yeah we're gonna have to go fix that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fast travel to sunset drive-in which is the furthest south we've been also if i remember right no bad guys here so that's not something we gotta worry about and uh gonna go do some more setup um we're gonna head south from here to the um hobby outpost i think it's called and uh yeah uh get ourselves somebody to repair our guns but as we do we gotta be careful if we come up here because it's gonna be two uh powder gangers or not powder gangers uh, just uh plain old normal wait did they not spawn in they should ah there they are those guys right there um Skip convicts. It's not powder gangers because they aren't linked with the powder ganger fact. That's not good. Stop it, game. Well, we just want to move up quiet like and let them uh, walk towards the police station. Um, we're also going to over head over here real quick because uh, the fast travel point I want to trigger. I believe it's right around here somewhere. Watch out for the scorpions. Yep, right there. Ivan uh, drive away. So yeah, one guy moved forward pretty far. No, not the bark scorpion. Yep, so this skip convict's gonna keep going forward. We'll just let him. No reason to stop a fight that's gonna happen if we can, you know not waste any BBs and loot both sides. I don't know where his buddy went, though. Did he ever get gunned down? That's possible. Yeah. Yeah, that, I knew that was going to happen. These guys, the Vipers over here, I think they do it. Nope, Jackals. Pretty tough, but luckily we had those guys soften them up a bit. And they aren't wearing too heavy of armor. Come here. Hold still. Nice. And with that, he drops. Now that was the... This is the end of your combat cinema. There should be another dude right around this corner here. See, the jackals always hide right behind this, uh, um... This corner over here. And this building. I don't know where the other one went, though. Must have got all the way around behind it or something. I just couldn't see her through the bushes. Great. What is wrong with you today, Fala? I have never seen that a yellow caution before. Dehydration level is increased, which just reminded me that we're playing on a hardcore mode. Ha 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 ha. Drink purified water. Health back. Try to get a good angle on that jackal. Don't want to crest this ridge though because there's a bunch of scorpions and uh, other stuff that way we'll get up real close and pump a bunch of shots into the back of her head if we can right, we're real close and she's wearing metal armor which means that uh, 
Yup, we're not breaking our DT. Hold still. Come on. Oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Stop reloading and open the inventory. Ah, thank you. Alright, um... So what we got? We got some, uh... Do we have stem packs? Yeah, we got a couple. Take a couple of those. And then we'll just drink a bunch of Samson with the Sarasperdo. I thought I took a stim- Oh, stim packs heal over time in hardcore mode, that's right. You know, it might help if we were wearing some armor that wasn't a roaming traitor outfit, too. Uh, we'll put on the NCR Bandolier, because that's our best armor, and then make our way this way. Uh, will these cars blow up? Maybe. I don't know. Come here. Hold still. Yep, starting to have reload problems with our gun. Uh, pop another stim pack or two. Am I even hitting you? Yeah, I'm hitting you. Just not doing any damage. Ah! Critical strike. That's good. That's a lot of what we're looking for in this build. And our weapon's in poor condition. Great. Just continue to shoot it in the head. I've had enough. <laughs> Take that. Alright. That was, that was well. Yeah, see the problem with combat in this game for us right now. Almost all of our... <laughs> almost all of the condition on our gun is gone. Um, hey, I killed another dude. Where did his corpse go? Did they... No, okay. Like this corpse despawn? No, it's over here. Grab this gunner's outfit. Some abs up. Nice. Yeah, male gunner. Oh, I'm over encumbered. What can I band together? You know, I just picked up that mo that metal armor out of, you know, uh just habit, but it's actually not bad considering compared to what we're wearing otherwise. Now let's eat some food. Uh, what's heavy in here? I know I said something with a really high weight. Is it the MREs? No. Drink some water. Hmm. It's only a baseball, really. Alright, gotta lose six more pounds. Uh, throw that knife away. Gotta lose five more pounds. Well, for the moment, I'm just gonna drop that leather armor right there. Check what you guys got. Um, take your rounds. Dynamite. That can be made into something better. Yes, I know that put me over capacity again, but don't worry about it. Uh, ooh, money. Nice. Go stick some dynamite. Scroll to some rifle. Back, and then um, just put all these outfits together. Which still puts me eight and a half pounds over. Uh, throw that away. Those have some decent value, so I don't want to throw those away. Um, why do I have horse metal? 
No idea. Alright, you need to lose two pounds. Um, what well, weighs two pounds? Oh, gecko steaks. There we go. And we'll just throw the rest of the stuff on the ground right now. We can always come back for it later. And continue on our way to, uh... That place. Well, I'll be on post. Um... Those two marks, you don't have to worry about those. Those are crows. Which you can get one XP for a beast with killing, so I will take it. They also spray giblets everywhere, weirdly. So as you walk up here, you want to be a little careful because there's going to be a... Uh... <sighs> what is it? A uh... fire ant. Right there. Luckily he's just a worker and we got a good shot on him. Or we're just hitting the ground, sadly. Come here, worker ant. And our gun is broken. Luckily, I have a backup. Yeah, for the people wondering why I didn't just repair one gun into the other, that's the reason. It's actually going to be more important for us to have uh, uh, multiple BB guns, pretty much every BB gun we can pick up on this run through, than it is to uh, um, repair them. Sadly, th I've always thought this would be a good sniper point, but you really can't see much over there. Um, if you head more towards that building over there, you'll run into a bunch of scorpions, which I don't want to fight right now. If you head that way, you're going to run into a bunch of ants. Ants aren't super scary, but uh, really no need to tussle with them. Uh, the scorpions are going to be just, just a pain, because uh, scorpions have DT. Uh, damage threshold, which means that when we shoot them with our BB gun, just like that lady with the metal armor, um, we don't do anything. Yeah, and instead of tussling with them, we're just going to run away. And then I'm going to fall down in here. Uh, that was completely on purpose, of course. Uh, don't know why you say otherwise. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're going to head this way. Why am I moving slower? Is it because I'm wearing heavy armor? It's possible. Um, that had leather, whatever. Yeah, it's because I'm wearing heavier armor and run slower. Annoying. Um, sometimes there's a trade dude right here, a caravaneer. He's worth talking to. Sadly, for all these bottles right here, there's only some potatoes and stuff in here. Some nuts. We got agave thingies and uh, you can fill bottles with water but you can't do it like in Fallout 4 by just picking them up and going to a sink. You gotta go to gotta do Old World Blues and then pick up the sink modification and then after you do that you can get some water. What do you got in here? Well I got enough scrap metal for the moment. I need more wrenches and duct tape and well honestly I just need more repair. Yeah, repair something we're going to want to upgrade real fast. I can't wait to get uh, jury rigging so we can repair our BB gun with any rifle we come across, but uh, that's still a little bit off. So we're going to head up here. Welcome to the Mojave Outpost. Night in caution. What's coming after me? I don't know. You can always tell that something's running after you when Major uh, Kilburn here starts around like a bitch. Killborn, not Killburn. Um, so we're gonna head over here. Uh, side and get our guns repaired. Major Knight, fix my stuff. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or courier. Just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Well, mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, 
Keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Repairs. All right, then. Just sign here, here, and here. Yep. Major Knight's one of the best repairmen in the Wasteland with a repair skill of 100. So we're going to repair the shovel because that costs one cap. Even gun. 20 caps. Awesome. And only 72 caps for the other one. Some of this is quite expensive, but we'll get our some of this up. Uh, it's not going to raise the DT at all, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, so with that, we've repaired both our BB guns. What? You guys are weird. Uh, with that, we've repaired both our BB guns. Yeah, they're in pretty good condition. And, uh... We will continue on next time as I head, you know, back into the start of the game and uh, do some more stuff around Good Spring Prim and stuff. So uh, uh, this has been Fallout 3. Nope, 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 not 3. Fallout New Vegas. BB Gun Run, and I'll see you next time.